So now that we have identified the different types of team leadership, it's now time to identify how this team leader um, will put everything together, how they will effectively manage the team. So it brings us to the Hill model of team leadership. And there are a few different type of components for the leader to um, go through the process of effectively leading a team. So we have the leadership uh, decision-making process, and this is a mental model where leaders have to be able to recognize the main issues within the team and formulate s solutions. So this is really where the problem solving comes in. Um, next, we have the leadership action. So leaders have to decide what type of action is needed and then they intervene. So looking and assessing the situation will allow them to choose uh, the correct and appropriate action that needs to be taken. And then last but not least, the team effectiveness. So leaders focus on the success and goals reached stemming from teamwork. So at the end of the day, have they effectively led the team towards the team's goals? Um, and there are two different types of functions. Uh, there's a performance-based function and the development function.